Hey folks, welcome back to ToxicGeeks.com. Justin here, back with more Steam Next Fest coverage, and we are going to be talking about a highly anticipated game that just dropped the demo, which is Neon Blood. And as always, I give you a quick overview of the game. So here it is: Viridius Year 2053. Growing inequality drives Bright City and Blind City further and further apart until idealistic detective Axel McCoin starts a revolution to change the world in this fast-paced cyberpunk adventure and we are going to play the demo here and this is a game i've been anticipating since i saw the trailer i am a huge sucker for this type of cyberpunk pixel looking aesthetics that i that we've been getting a lot lately of and i really enjoy games like this so let's do it this is basically explaining a little bit of what this demo is going to do is giving us a little bit of an overview looks like on what this particular section of the game will be about so there's the message and let us go i'm using obviously my playstation 5 controller so we're going to be doing this completely on the ps5 controller and this is obviously steam next fest so obviously this is pc footage so let's do it all right no voice acting apparently, so that's not bad. That's fine. All right, so we're at a bar. I'm loving the graphics already. And of course, it being called Neon Blood, it's nice to see actual neon colors there. But I love the aesthetic of this. And he's he's getting it right. All right, so let's go. Search for Silver Rainer. All right, let's get our investigation on. Talk to this guy. All right. Maybe this guy knows something. Looking for a guy named Silver Radar. Do you know me? No, I'm not going to be acting, folks. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, he doesn't know anything. I just love the way this camera looks. Just the perspective of it. It just it's just gorgeous shots throughout this just far immediately. Alright, maybe this guy knows something. So we're gonna need credits 100 credits okay 100 credits where are we gonna find that okay that's the run cool i wonder if he's gonna be wearing a trench coat the entire game or will you be able to change your clothes throughout Alright, here we go. Let's try to earn this 25 credits. Oh, okay, that's pretty simple. Nice mini game there. So it looks like this is basically just giving us a little bit of overview of the mechanics that we're going to be doing here. A little quick time event there. Alright. Keep going. Interact this, this. Wait, how does he know me? <laughs> he asked the same thing. All right. Dance and pop it. Screw you, dude. All right. So I guess this is going to be where we actually learn what the actual gameplay is. Because I'm curious to see what type of game this is going to be gameplay wise. This is their particular fight club. Germs. Germs, bro. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, wait. Is it RPG? Wow. Full blown turn based RPG game. All right. I'm with it. Love my RPGs. Love turn-based classic. Oh, damn. All right. You know what? Headshot. 
and that is a lot vertical damage you got basic attacks and you have skill attacks as well which is pretty good pay up bro finish them off real quick Alright, that's good. Anything over here? Alright, so, so far we have 75 credits. We need 25 more in order to bribe this security guard so we can get to where we need to get to. Now, if I remember, this dude lost his wallet, so I'm gonna go back to him. Yep. Alright, so we're gonna help him find his wallet. Maybe we'll just steal it from him. Oh no, he's gonna actually. Alright. A little finder's fee. Alright, so let's investigate. And this is where the investigation is coming into the place. So, so far, we have a little mini game there when it came to him drinking. We also have a little quick preview of the gameplay mechanics of actually battle mechanics, which is a turn based RPG aesthetic there, which is actually, I actually worked pretty good as well. And now we're up to this investigation aesthetic where we're at the finding things and I guess use our detective visor to locate particular areas that we have to investigate to try to find this guy's missing wallet here. Yeah, okay, so that's highlighted, so we're gonna go check that one out next. Alright, there's more fingerprints here. And let's check that since that got highlighted blue. Alright, so there's no sign of wallet. Let's do the detective vision. And there's a path that's leading to the outside, which is cool. We get to see more of the outside world and look how gorgeous this looks folks oh my god this game is beautiful this is there, there are games folks this is just pure art this this hands down this is art folks like this looks gorgeous music is sounds very aesthetically pleasing the, the way the cyberpunk world works this futuristic world it is just gorgeous. This is a gorgeous looking game. And even just the, the camera, the way the camera is working here, it, it, it just really shows the amazing work that these developers have put into with, just with, the, with the particular shots here. I'm really impressed with how great and how flu, fluent this game even feels just playing it. I definitely will be adding this to my wish list for sure. Hey, right, give me my 25. All right, let's go. And face off against this silver dude. Here's your freaking money. Take your money, man. Hundred credits, and that's it. And he leaves. Might as well yeah, just walk the stairs at that point. Actually, wait. Let me go back and talk to this. Is that a cat? Yeah, makes sense. Alright, this must be our guy. Oh boy, this guy's pissed off. Looks like we're about to have another battle. Yep. Alright, here we go. So. Oh, damn, he hit me. Whoa, he took. Damn, that took a lot of energy. Well, it took a little bit from him, too. Let me heal myself. See, I'm wondering if that. I, I'm pretty sure that's not going to be, like, unlimited healing um, in the full release of the game. Alright, the hit later. Damn! Alright. 
Let me just attack him. Ooh, I got it. Hopefully it's the last shot. Yes. Warm up? Oh, hell. Whoa. This dude. This dude's robotic. Or enhanced. Alright, well, good old headshot to do it. And there's various things that you can do here. I mean, there's also um, items that you can use against your opponent. Armor piercer rounds that you can switch to, which I think I should do after I heal. There we go. Uh, he is, yep. No, we're going to use that. Yep. Armor piercer round. That should do it. Just in case, because this guy's big. He's using implants. Might as well pierce something off. Yep. Oh, this guy's really about to go for it. Uh oh, something's wrong with Axel. Oh, more quick time event. Oh wow! It would have been cool if they actually had the sound effects though for the actual punches and hits there, but maybe that's in the full release of the game. So far, I'm very, very impressed with this demo. I really like it. I think this is going to be, if the story is good, um, if the game is offers a really good story here and the mechanics are as fluent as this is and there's some really open world exploration in this i think this is going to be a hit um i really enjoyed this one this was a really cool demo i will highly recommend everybody to add this to the wish list especially if you're a fan of turn-based rpgs or at least the turn-based type of gameplay mechanics i'm not sure what else elements are going to be in here in the gameplay but i so far definitely will say add this to your wish list this is Justin from Geeks.com. This has been a look at the Neon Blood demo. Comment below. Let me know what you think of the game. Did you play it yourself? What were your thoughts? If you like what we do here, hopefully we earn your subscription. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And we'll catch you on the next one. Later days. Peace, love, and happiness to you all. We'll catch you on the next one.